Hello K-Drama fans, today I bring you another edition of the latest news and events in the world of Korean dramas and our favorite actors. So don't forget to leave your like and subscribe here to not miss out on the next videos. Starting with a possible partnership that is on the horizon as Jong Jae-hyun from NCT and actor Lee Chai-min have reportedly received offers to star in a new drama together. The series is called I Believe You, which is a school-themed K-drama with a story about the power struggle between the rich and the poor. In a deep journey of awakening and personal growth where the seemingly weak will find their inner strength to challenge and triumph over the forces of adversity and domination. The agency of Jong Jae-hyun, SM Entertainment responded and shared, Jong Jae-hyun recently received the script for the K-drama I Believe You. It's one of the projects he is currently reviewing. Nothing has been decided yet. Lee Chai-min's agency also gave their statement regarding the casting reports. They shared, it is true that Lee Chai-min received the offer. The actor is currently reviewing the proposed works. I Believe You is reportedly set to begin filming in the first semester of 2024. And now some news for those missing Seo Kang Joon as everything indicates that he's in negotiations for a dramedy. If confirmed, this will be his first project since his military discharge in May of last year. This news was reported on Wednesday, March 6th, and the name of this new drama would be Undercover High School, which is still a provisional title. The story would be about a man who disguises himself as a high school student while hiding his identity as an agent of the National Intelligence Service NIS, and establishes solidarity and empathy with his classmates throughout his school life. Undercover High School plans to start filming in the first semester of this year with the aim of being released in 2025 via NBC. Very excited for the return of this cutie. Now, about actress Kim Boare, who recently shined in the Netflix drama Like Flowers and Sand, among various prestigious dramas. Her agency announced this week that she will be getting married. They released the following statement, Kim Boare will marry director Joe Baryun in June. The two became close because of their work on the movie The Grotesque Mansion, where she worked as an actress and he directed. We wish the couple all the happiness. And the Korean Institute of Corporate Research has already released the list of brand reputation rankings for drama actors for March 2024. This list is based on the analysis of data from various factors including media coverage, interaction, participation, and community indices. Taking the top spot is the Muse Park Shin Hai, followed closely by actress Song Ha Yoon in second place. In third place, we have actor Na Wu, followed by Park Hyung Sik in fourth place, and rounding out the top five in the ranking is Park Min Young. The complete list contains 30 artists. Now, regarding actress Han So Hee, who is in negotiations to take on a leading role in a new K drama along with actor Ryu Jun Yil. On Wednesday, March 6th, it was reported that this actor duo will star in director Han J Rim's adaptation of the webtoon Delusion. Both agencies have confirmed that the actors indeed received the offer and are positively considering it. Han Sohee's agency commented, It's one of the projects she received and is considering, while Ryu Jun Yeol's agency, CJES Studios, responded, Ryu Jun Yeol received an offer for, Delusion, and is reviewing it. This would be a period piece, set in Jiang Siang in 1935 and Shanghai in 1800. The webtoon, Delusion, is a mystery thriller that tells the story of what happens when artist Yoon Iho is hired to paint a portrait of a mysterious woman who is supposedly a vampire and he visits the hotel where she is staying, sparking an interaction between the two. Both actors have a history of impeccable performances which has greatly increased expectations for this K-drama. It seems like we'll have many themes in one drama including a combination that drama lovers adore, fantasy with romance. Did you like it? Do you think they could have chemistry? I'm quite excited about this news and I'm rooting for them to accept the project. And there's exciting news for those, like me, who love the handsome Ji Chang Wook because he has been confirmed for a new drama and this time he's diving into action. The drama is titled Gangnam Beside and is scheduled for a global release in the second half of 2024. It's a crime drama that will tell the story of a renegade detective who is pulled back into action after the disappearance of a friend of his daughter. This case is the latest in a long series of disappearances of women in the Gangnam area of Seoul. The detective will once again delve into a world of vices, drugs, and corruption to unravel a mystery that threatens to shake the wealthiest elites of the city. Ji Changwook will take on the role of Yoon Gilho, a mysterious broker who controls Gangnam. This character has lived in the darkest corners of this extravagant city and has led a life of humble origins. 
we can expect Ji Chang Wook to bring a lot of attitude and have a very different look this time around as he will undergo a drastic transformation in his appearance to perfectly portray his character. I'm curious too, could he be the villain this time? The series will have a similar vibe to the drama The Worst of Evil in which he participated last year, full of action and dynamics. It also features actress Ha Yoon Kyung and actor Jo Woo Jin in the main cast. Currently, the heartthrob is involved in the production of a period drama tentatively titled Queen Wu which follows the story of a queen searching for a new king before rival tribes seize the throne. And what a stellar cast is lined up for this drama. It's at the top of my list, eagerly awaiting its release to hit play as I believe the chemistry will be incredible. Production began in the middle of last year and we're anticipating its premiere in the first half of 2024. Nest drama he'll be acting alongside actress John Jong Seo who is currently shining in Wedding Impossible. That's great news. I'm thrilled. Here's to many more projects with this cutie because we never tire of seeing him shine on screen. And about the chemistry between Ji Chang Wook and John Jong Seo, I think it has the potential to be fantastic. I'm really excited about this news and hoping they accept the project. Now on to actors Ma Dong Suk and Kim Mu Yeol who announced the return of the successful series The Outlaws with posters for The Roundup, Punishment. The newly released teaser posters captured Detective Ma Suk Do and the villain Baek Chang Ki, each displaying their strong presence. The text reads, I will end you, signaling the return of The Outlaws series and raising viewers' expectations for the continuation of this action-packed film. The Outlaws, The Roundup, Punishment is the fourth film in the series and it follows the story of Detective Ma Suk Du, portrayed by veteran Ma Dong Suk. As he battles villains including a former mercenary from the Special Forces who runs an illegal online gambling organization and a genius IT criminal. He does so through cooperation with another detective and with the assistance of the Metropolitan Police Investigation Unit and the Cyber Team. The Roundup, Punishment is set to hit theaters on April 24th. As for actor Nine Wu, who continues to enjoy immense popularity from the drama Marry Me Now, he made an appearance on the program Lee Eun Ji's Music Plaza on KBS Cool FM this Wednesday, March 6th, where he made several revelations. One of them was about his similarities with his character in the revenge drama. According to Nine Wu, both he and the character Yu Ji Hyuk share similarities in their sensitive sides. He tells the host of the program that he has been able to deal with his emotions and has learned to appear calm even when nervous as he grows older. In the interview, he also shared about fans' reactions when they encounter him and at one point he mentioned a fan in her 50s called me, my husband, dot. He shared that he receives varied reactions from fans of different age groups. During the show, the topic arose of a fan sharing in an online post the moment when their group of friends unexpectedly encountered the actor in a small restaurant. These fans were in the third year of high school at the time and immediately recognized the actor, asking for his autograph. The fan reported that Na In Wu happily signed their notebook and even encouraged the students to study well, gifting them with a paper bag containing skincare products. Due to the viral story of Na In Wu's fan service, the host and DJ Lee Yoon Ji joked, If I study hard, can I get hand cream? To which actor Na In Wu playfully responded, I'll buy you something better than hand cream. I love Na In Wu's affection for his fans. I already admired him a lot for his talent, and it's always great to see that they have this affection for their admirers. Very cool, I wish him success in his new projects. And with that, we close another edition. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel here so you don't miss any new videos. Until next time.